each morning and evening is sacred to you. While I toil the long day without shelter or cover and fell the tall guns, the black butted and blue. Full often I think of and talk of the air in thy heath covered mountains are fresh in my view. Thy glens, lakes, and rivers, Loch and Kilcarran, while chained to the soil on the plains of Emu. The iron bark wattle and gum trees extending their shade under which rests the shy kangaroo may be felled by the blessed who have hope for them bending to cheer their rude toil though far exiled from you but alas without hope peace or honor to grace me each feeling was crushed in the bud as it grew whilst never is stamped on the chains that embrace me and On the plains of Emu, hard, hard was my fate, far from thee to be driven, unstained and unconvicted, as sure was my due. I loved to dispense of the freedom of heaven, but force gained the day, and I suffer for you, for this land never broke, what by promise was plighted, deep treason this tongue in my country there. No base earned coin in my coffer air lighted, yet enchained I remain on the plains of Emu. Dear mother, thy love. From my bosom shall never depart, but shall flourish, untainted and true. Nor grieve that the base in their malice should ever upbraid thee, and not to give malice adieu. Spare, spare her the tear, and no charge lay upon her, and weep not, my Nora, her grief to renew, but cherish her age till night closes on her, and think of the who still thinks but of you.
but your names shall still live, though like writing in water, when confined to the boats of the tame cockatoo. Each wattle's grub echo repeats to the other your names, and each breeze hears beside a new. For dumb be my tongue, may my heart seize her motion. In the aisle I forget where my first breath I drew. Each affection is warmed with sincerest devotion. For the tie is unbroken on the plain.